Hey guys, it's Andy. So today I'm going to be making a fun and easy craft that I'm going to be using for Jackson's birthday party this weekend and as well as for a decoration for his wall. Um, he is getting Thomas the Train bedding and things for his birthday. So I just bought these pretty big size letters and I'm going to also set these on our fireplace. Um, since we are changing his name, this is his new name. And it's just a reminder of people to call him this name now instead of the other name, which is really hard for people to do since he's going to be two. Um, I had gotten this book for him for his birthday, um, and Danny had dropped it, so it broke. Um, so I didn't know what to do with it, so I'm going to take pages from this book and Mod Podge them onto the letters. Um, so for this project, you're going to need, obviously, some Mod Podge. Um, I just have this gloss one. Um, I've had this around for a while. Um, I got paint just in case I decide I want to paint. I'm not sure what I want to do. Um, something to Mod Podge on your letters. And I'm going to use this X-Acto knife to cut around behind. Um, and then I picked these up at Michael's yesterday. These packs were on sale for $1.99 for the whole thing. Originally $5, so I got these big ones with the little ones. And then these small ones here. And then they have these little like round ones that I thought would be fun for the kids to paint with. So I'm going to go ahead and look through my book and see what I want to do and see if I want to paint them and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started with my J. Um, I did pick out a few things that I liked and then I found this one and I like this one a lot. I can pretty much get um, all four of these faces on the bottom of this J. So I'm just going to lay this on there and then um, Mod Podge the back of this area and then get the faces to kind of where I want. And then I'm going to cut this off around so that I can um, start layering the top. So I'm going to go ahead and um, get my Mod Podge out. I got a larger one and the smaller one. And I got a plate. Okay, so I, since this one had so much going on, I stuck the, my letter on top of it and I went around it. Um, I left some overhang. So I'm going to go ahead and I poured out my Mod Podge. I could not get my bottle open for nothing. So I just have a little bit in a plate and I'm going to go ahead and do the whole bottom of my J. You just want to put a light layer on there just to get it enough to stick. And then we'll let it dry and then put some over the top and then when we're done we're going to um, take your X-Acto knife and then cut all of the edge off too. So just kind of get that where you want it. You don't want any of the white to show. And I want to make sure to get as much of Thomas on there as I can. So that's going to be good and just press it down. And then um, like I said there's extra overhang so you will just cut all of that off. I just basically wanted to make sure to get all the faces so you can um, you know cut some of this off if you want to you know, decorate with top, and then we're just going to decorate the whole letter. So I'm going to find some more scenes that I want to use, and I will show you how it looks. Okay, I have quite the mess going on, and so far this is really wet, but this is how my J is looking. I can't get it all in the frame somehow. This is how my J is looking. Um, this one was more complicated, as I kind of like hodgepodged all, a lot of the characters on there. But for the rest of them, I have found like, scenes. Like for the A, I'm just going to use this one. And then in the front of the book, it had this. So I'm going to use that on the O. Um, I just have to find something for the X. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the A. Um, the A is going to be a lot easier, like I said. I'm just going to use this whole paper scene. So I'm going to kind of set it. It's actually like right at the letter size, but it's just a little shy of the letter. So I'm going to have to try to um, work that a little bit um, and get it right like to the edges so it doesn't look funny. Oh. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to go ahead and we're going to Mod Podge our letter. I'm going to paint the whole letter this time with the Mod Podge. I'm going to start at the top and then work my way down. And I'm probably going to go ahead and start laying it. Um, and then Mod Podge under it so that the Mod Podge doesn't dry. So you just want to kind of pick your scene. And like I said, it's kind of just shy of um, 
where I need to be at. So I wanted to try to get this cool like farm on there and kind of just get it spaced even. You just have to slide it over a little bit and I want to get this train on here too. Um, so go ahead and then just um, lift your paper up and then I'll pull it up a little bit and then just go ahead and keep mod podging it. Am I in the frame here? Yeah. Um, and then start to smooth it down and just be really careful not to move it because it is like, it is really squishy. Um, so just mod podge your whole letter and then um, push it down and make sure that it's exactly where you want and then I'll let it dry for a few minutes and then you Mod Podge over the whole top. But before I do that, I have been going back around and cutting off all of the excess of my letters just so that I can um, Mod Podge it around the edges. So just kind of put a little bit of pressure down on it and make sure that everything is all set and nice on there. So here is my A. Um, I have not Mod Podge over top of it yet, but that's how it looks. So I'm just going to pour out some more Mod Podge. We'll leave that. It's a little bit of Mod Podge. Um, and then just go over the whole top of your letter and make sure to get like around the edges to make sure that it's all sealed. Uh, I'll probably put at least three layers of Mod Podge. Usually I'll go down a layer, then I go up, and then I go to the side, and then the other side. So just make sure you're getting your sides really good. Okay, so I finally finished it, and I think it looks pretty good. Um, this is Jackson. This is going to be for his birthday decorations and also for his wall. Um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I did use three coats of the Mod Podge over top and I think it looks great. So, um, I'll see you guys in the next video and sorry if it cut off before. My camera space was full, um, but this is a finished product and I just used Mod Podge. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.